Hey guys, welcome back to this week's video. I hope you all had a great week. I took a little break there for a week, so thank you for those of you who stuck around. Sometimes we just need to take breaks in life and yeah. So today we are going to be chopping this monster behind me because it has mealy bugs. Um, I just want to throw it out there that I have been religiously bathing it with neem oil and wiping the leaves and overall I'm just really tired of doing that. So I think it's time to just give it a good chop and start over. So if you are new here, my name is Hannah and this is Coffee in My Jungle. My cat is aging and she just recently went blind in her second eye so she can't see anything at all. She can kind of follow the light I guess but yeah if you hear her meowing that's what that is and I apologize I really can't do anything. Um, right now and then please don't come at me she has an appointment booked next week okay we're doing we're doing what we think is best. So yeah, don't come at me with anything like that. I don't want to talk about it. I just want to let you know. If you hear me meow, that's why. So let me see if I can adjust the camera a little bit here. Let's bring myself up. Hey guys. There we go. Okay, you can kind of see that not well enough. So the goal today is to chop this up and get it in some water, I think. So first thing I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna do is just untie all of these things. Okay, it's attached to. We've got lots of sticks in here. And I'm, I just use twist ties. Use whatever I have, basically. Ooh. Okay, that one's a little stuck. Um, yeah, this one's got all kinds of different stuff. Um, you guys probably can't hear me, sorry. This one has all different kinds of stuff tied to it. Um, twist ties, metal ties, <laughs> you name it, we have it. I'm actually going to plug in the mic, I think, because I keep turning so you guys can hear me a little better, if that makes sense. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. So I... I oh, my cat. <laughs> okay, so I didn't end up plugging the mic in because I can't find it. Um, so I just took the rest of these poles out and... Everything's leaning sideways. So one of the reasons too I wanted to propagate this is because I have really long trunks going on here so I just want to get rid of those. And also I am sensing that on this side one of these has some root rot because I just watered it and it's still like very um, flimsy. So yeah that's my assumption on that is that it has root rot. So yeah overall I just want to start over with this guy and yeah. So, everyone say goodbye to this big luscious babe. Well, not goodbye, but see you soon. Um, we're gonna start chopping now. I'm gonna throw some music. This is scary. I've like thought about this forever. I've been staring at it every morning while I have my coffee and I'm nervous now. I don't wanna do this, but it needs to be done, I think. So, here we go. I'm just gonna bring this forward and I hope you guys can see if it'll focus there, but right on this node shooting out, you can see there is a mealy bug there. And all along the roots there too, there is some mealy bugs, if it'll just focus here. Come on. Anyways, so yeah, there's mealy bug damage, so. What I'm thinking of doing, and please forgive me if this sounds too much, but 
But the only way I found to actually eradicate the bugs completely was to drown them. I know that sounds crazy, but yeah. So I'm gonna stick them in the tub with some soap and I'm just gonna leave the ends up that I cut. And yeah. So I'm gonna continue chopping this up. I'm gonna throw some music back on again and then I'll see you guys upstairs in the bathroom. <laughs> I think I might still just keep chopping and propping. I don't know. These pieces all look okay, but now the plant just looks blah, you know? Yeah, I think I'm going to keep chopping and propping, so... they all grow roots and whatnot I think it'll still be like nice and lush and plump and tall so I'm not super sad about it um <laughs> look at how depressing this is though <laughs> so yeah as you can see there was a lot of like really lanky stems and I can even see some mealybugs in here too so now I'm really stuck on if I want to keep like all of these and cut them up and just root prop them or whatever because I mean they're still green they're still there's still lots of life left in them right so for me to throw them out is just I can't do it so <sighs> more plants <laughs> I actually well you guys know I just got rid of a whole bunch of plants and now I have to now I have a bunch more so yeah I'm trying to like minimize the amount of plants I have so it's easier to care for them all if that makes sense so I don't know I think I'll root these let them grow real quick and then just like give them out as little gifts or something once they grow some leaves of course I won't leave them like this but yeah okay so I'm gonna take you guys upstairs we're gonna go up um into my bathroom here and get these guys all in the tub okay we are in the bathroom I um hey guys I just wanted to show you yesterday I got a um plant gifted to me so I'm going to show you guys that it's in the bathroom you can kind of see it there um so yeah those are going in there I'm gonna move them around a little bit and then we're gonna drown some bugs um, moving on though, isn't it gorgeous? It's so big and I'm obsessed. I don't, <laughs> I'm going to put what the name of it is on the bottom of the screen, but I'm going to try and say it because you all just, you know, I know you all love it so much. So, Diffembasia. <laughs> no. Forgive me. <laughs> I don't know. I like can't say names whatsoever. So, Yeah. You guys know what it is. Um, all, however, I can't figure out what exact um, variety it is, though. So if anybody wants to pop that down in the comments for me, please let me know. Um, it's huge. I'm obsessed. So uh, I just washed it yesterday, sprayed it with neem oil and stuff like that. So it's just going to stay up here in my bathroom. I don't have a lot of plants in here. Actually, I don't think I have any. Oh, we don't have any plants in here. This is basically quarantine zone. So anytime there's bugs, they come up here. Yeah. So yeah, moving on, I will prop you guys up so you can see me while here and then we'll get started. I didn't um, turn that on just while I filled up the water because you guys wouldn't have been able to hear me anyways, but so I just mixed my, um, oh, where is it here? This stuff, I added a little bit of this in, which is um, 
neem oil and a little bit of dish detergent. I just dumped a little bit of that inside here and then the water is just like lukewarm. So, and then I'm just kind of washing each leaf with my hand, if that makes sense. Um, rubbing the roots and whatnot and just making sure that all the crevices are under the water too. I know this is morbid to some people, but this is the one way that I found that actually works. It sucks. It's such a process, but it works. So, I know I'm never going to be able to eradicate the mealybugs completely. However, I'm not letting them kill any more of my plants. I am done. <laughs> So I'm going to let this soak for a little bit, um, after that I'll drain it and then I'll probably just turn the shower on and make sure it runs as them really well, make sure all that product's off, and then probably the next thing I will do is let them dry and before you stick them in water to root, you're going to want to let those areas that you cut off callus over if that makes sense, so go hard. Um, that'll just um, minimize your chances of having root rot. Or, sorry, that will minimize your chances of letting that piece rot over while you're trying to get new roots. So, one more thing before I go, to I want to know, has anybody tried this before? And any other plant lovers who watch me, would you recommend doing this? I know it's very controversial for when I started researching this specific way. Um, most people said you can't kill your plants that way. But I stay right here with them. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you've ever tried this before and what are your thoughts on it. So, I have rinsed them all off and now I have them hanging just so all the water drips out. Um, I check them over very thoroughly too to make sure all bugs are gone. So yeah, everything looks good. They kind of look cool like this. <laughs> um, wait for my toddler to come up and question what's going on as well as my husband is gonna be like how am I gonna shower but <laughs> hopefully I get this all moved before they come up alrighty so it's been a few hours now it's about five o'clock I think <laughs> I don't even know um so I believe they're probably calloused over enough now so um a while ago I poured a couple jugs of water so jugs of water I poured some water in here just to let the chlorine it was tap water so just let the chlorine um, evaporate too so now I'm just gonna go ahead and start sticking all of these in here and yeah you guys can There's a lot. Um, yeah. I did go get another one more little jar just so I could keep one up here in the bathroom. Um, now I've got to figure out where to put these two. Um, the one thing I struggle with is I have cats, so they're just, you know, I love them, but they're annoying. So one of them in particular, Lola. She's a um, tortoise shell cat. She always sticks her paws in the water and just knocks everything out and then she chooses to drink the water. I don't know why, but it drives me like batshit crazy. <laughs> Legit. So I have to keep them in an area where she can't get to them, which is super annoying because that's very limited space. Um, I can't keep them in here because this plant's in here. Um, so yeah. I'm not sure where to put them. Also, um, I just wanted to show you guys Jasmine too real quick. She's right here. She's purring. She's so cute. 
she has no idea where she is and her sound is a little bit off but yeah so there's Jess so yeah um I am going to go spread those out around the house and yeah I will I will see you guys next week Actually, I think I might post a sooner video, but I don't know. No promises, you know. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Um, let me know if I asked you a question before. I'm trying to think what it was. Oh, if you've ever done the <laughs> drowning method. <laughs> That's awkward. Um, yeah, let me know if you've done that before. If not, whatever. And, yeah. Have a good day, guys.